This is Breakfast Daily on CCTV. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, we're going to have a very interesting conversation. Of course, Kwame Dazi is a regular, but we do have the beautiful Sina Soul in the building with us. Good morning, good Sina. Morning. And good morning, Kwame Dazi. Good morning. How are you both? I'm fine. Now, we're going to talk about your video, Killing Me. Wow. Tell us about it. What inspired that track? Um, I would say that um, the beat. Hmm. Usually, when I hear an instrumentation, um, I let it speak to me. Like, what do you want me to talk about? Because I always try to talk about new things that I personally have never spoken about. Yeah. So I was inspired by the beat, and it was produced by Nikwe. Okay. Um, people know Nikwe. Everyone knows Nikwe. Everyone knows Nikwe. <laughs> so Nikwe is an band. amazing yeah. producer. He, w I went to the studio with him all night. I think I came back home the next morning, wow. and I heard the beat, and then I just felt like, you know what? I'm just getting sort of like an abuse theme going on. So let's work on it. But I didn't want it to sound too aggressive. Mm. I still want it to be as musical and as easy to learn as possible. So um, we, yeah, we made the song. And obviously the song was powerful and we needed like an equally striking okay. video to work with it. And I worked on, I worked on the video with Jean Edu. Okay. And yeah, it went amazing. What, what went into the structuring of the video? Of How the do you video. ensure that um, you tackle the problem without it being too triggering for people who have experienced it? So I think I'll give all the credit to Gene because personally, I told him, Gene, this is the song. He doesn't really understand God too much. So I explained it to him that, okay, it's about domestic violence, about abuse, about a toxic relationship. So I need a video that represented that but it should be as cinematic and as interesting as possible. And he drafted the mood board, and I was blown away, wow. honestly. Because I don't know how, because honestly, I'm sure you watched the video, the whole twist, no one saw that coming. That's the same way when I read the mood board and, and I got to the end. I'm like, what? what you know, so props to Gene. Like, it was, it was him. It was him. Well, well. Mommy, that's me. Yeah. Um, first time I saw the video, I was like, wow, this is a very, very great piece. And... Um, you know, Sinaso is one of the artists who'd always want to touch on some of these issues. Okay. If you listen to Ojoli, mm -hmm. okay. okay, so it was like advising the man to leave the side chick. Yeah. Yes. Okay, because, because the main woman is, is around. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, if you get young people like this trying to almost always touch on issues like this, it tells us that we have people who don't always or uh, only think about music that thrives on just just entertainment okay issues issue based themes and all that and i believe that this is a great step that she is taking and um sina is one artist who also writes from her own experiences i don't know if this is a personal experience or, mm, that's or not a question to throw. but but according to her i read i read about her she says she writes from her own experiences mm -hmm. and writing about domestic violence abuse and all that i don't know if she has a personal experience in that regard if she has suffered any abuse of the form from from any relationship i don't know if you have um i would say maybe emotional abuse and which i think is highlighted in the video as well uh, maybe not too violent but that, i think emotional abuse is sort, sort yeah. of where um the violence starts from because it starts from emotional abuse insult here and there then it just transcends to something else so i think maybe i would say that Yes, emotionally, I've been abused and drained in my life before. And, and yeah. how should we um, empathize with women and men who are going through this? Like you said, it starts with a person breaking you emotionally. Breaking so when you. you hear people saying, why is she still there? She has a problem with it. You know, how do exactly. we deal with that? That's what people always say. If you have a problem, if he's doing this to you or if she is doing this to you, why don't you leave? But I think the hard part is the leaving. And... I think when what we have to tell people who are going through that is you are not weak for leaving. You're actually a very strong person for leaving. You're a stronger person for leaving because leaving is not difficult. So I think we should encourage people like you're strong. You're not weak. It doesn't mean that you're scared of him if you leave. No, it means you're a strong person because if you love someone and you're going through this kind of um, I don't know, abuse with someone that you truly love and you've had you've created or you've built a, a relationship over time with it's very hard so, so just encourage the men especially because i think men hide 
abuse. They're abused because obviously it's not masculine enough or it's not hard or it's not strong. So I think in a part of the world, men especially, women beat men all the time, you know. <laughs> you see, he's laughing. Women beat men all the time and men hide it because we're like, hey, so your wife beat you, but he's suffering. So I think we should just encourage the men especially. That's why the video had to have, definitely had two sides. In, in my mind at first, definitely when I was singing the song, it was from a woman's point of view. But after I listened to the song and I was like, you know what? I want, to, I want the two stories to be told. And Jean put it all together for me. How do we create spaces for men to feel as though their pain uh, is valid? Because if people approach you with humor or they laugh it off and say, be strong, you're not even allowing the person to feel that pain. How do yeah. we create those spaces? I think we should. This always starts with advocacy talking to people, talking online, using your social media platform, talk to the men around you. If you have a child, when you're bringing him up, raise him that way that if you have to talk, if you have pain, speak up. You can tell your kids to tell their friends, you know. I think it just starts with us. Me, I would start my part. I won't just release a song. I'll go online, I'll speak about it. I'll open my DMs. If you have to talk to me, come to me, talk to me. I'm sure everyone here, I'm sure you will be open to anyone who wants to talk to you about something, your friend, you know, starts with us, step by step. It was not, it's not going to be easy, you know, it can't change over time in a week or a day or even a year, but it starts with us. Thank you. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The City Tube. For exclusive breakfast daily content and other City TV programs. Like, comment and share with your friends.